now i will discuss about the raw sql query in database you can write query many ways for example you can write queries uh, according to raw sql query or if you want you can use the query builder if you want you can use the eloquent orm system i am going to uh, show you first about the raw sql query how to insert data how to show data how to update data how to delete data etc using the raw sql query so this is a fresh laravel installation and here i am going to env and here i am going to set up my database now i am going to create a migration i am going to create a table so php artisan make migration and then create then students table for example i am going to create a students table so first i am going to create migration file and in the migration i am going to give some information for example two fields i will add one is a string of name a student name and another one i am going to add here that is a student email now i am going to run php artisan migrate if i run this it is asking me if it will create a database or not i am going to click yes now a database uh, is created i am going to refresh my php my admin you see that a new laravel database has been created here and here the table students it is created now in this table i will write code to uh, insert the data into here so here i am going to call a get this is a new route for example the student create for example and here i am going to call the student controller then class i did not create controller yet but i will do uh, that now so in order to create the student controller i am going to terminal and here i will write p run the uh, command php artisan make controller and then a student controller so i create a controller the controller is created into app http controllers here this is the student controller and here i will write public then function index so this is the function to show all the data i will show here and another function i am going to create public function then for example create and here in the web i will create the student so here i will call the create function so create is the uh, function so student create and in the top i will have to call use app http then controllers and then student controller i call it in the top so i can work with that so student create that means here i will create the new student so in order to create the new student here i will have to use the db insert this system so db uh, this class i am going to define in the top that is use db you can uh, just uh, call the db here and db insert is here now i am going to call the insert method of this class and here in the insert i will just write the query like the raw sql so in the raw sql how we wrote the query for example uh, this is a very common method that uh, any person if he want to use in the raw sql to insert data query so here he will write insert into right so here i am going to do the same thing insert into then i will write the table name my table name is students so insert into students then i will have to give here uh, for example the student has to fill where i will insert data name and email and when the table is created you see that in the structure these two are nullable field created at and updated at so i am not going to do uh, anything with this i am just going to insert data into name and email so here i put name and email and then i am going to uh, call the values in in the values i am going to put a placeholder like this and those placeholder value i will give here and here i am going to give first student value for example uh, arifin this is the first student and second one that means the first placeholder value is this so actually the name uh, the name uh, field uh, which has a value and that i define here using the question mark 
and this question mark will have a value the first question mark value is first and the second question mark value is actually this email means second question mark and that value i will give here so here i am going to give something like this so in this way i just write the query here okay so this is uh, very straightforward query to insert data into the uh, database uh, i will check and run this if it is working or not so you see that in the student table if you go to browse no data now i will call here that is student then create then enter you see there is no error message and here if i refresh you see that the student is inserted here arifin and email i can insert another student here so what i will have to do just i will have to change here that is like this so here i will just uh, run the same uh, page again the same route i call and you see that another student is inserted so it is working i am going to put some other students like this just refresh here check here he is inserted and another student i will add here for example like this i am going to refresh and you see that total four students are inserted so using that db insert you can very easily insert the data into the database